Hi YouTube, uh, what we have here is what I can only describe as an AC coupled battery bank setup uh, for off grid use. Essentially what it's doing is using a time charger to charge a battery bank uh, during solar um, generation hours. Uh, we uh, tend to use sort of 10 till 6 each day, uh, spring, summer and autumn um, in order to run the television, the iMac and some incandescent lighting. Um, essentially what it's designed to do is, is be able to, to use intermittently use loads that are used after dark uh, in order to make more use of uh, the grid tied solar setup that we have. Um, what I'll do in this video is I shall give you a basic run through of, of what it is, what it's sort of the limits of its um, capacity are um, and how well it works and uh, explain some of the equipment used. Okay. The components used for this build are all store-bought off-the-shelf components. Everything's mounted in a 19-inch rack mount PC case, um, which is quite useful because it's meant that I've been able to use all of the fan cooling um, holes and, and what have you. Um, I took away all of the, the sort of CD drive stuff and uh, put a couple of pieces of stainless steel cut out for the, the components that you can see in front of you. Um, it's temperature controlled. Uh, there are four fans in there in total. It uh, comes on around 25 degrees Celsius. So during charging and also usage in the evening, the um, fan cuts in and then keeps it nice and cool. Um, there are two inverters in there. There's a 150 watt inverter and a 300 watt inverter. They're um, all Victron Energy. Uh, I shall get to the uh, the internals shortly, but this is just to give you a brief rundown of the type of components used. And the most important part of it is the seven day digital timer. That's time to come on at uh, 10 a.m. and go off at 6 p.m. Um, we tend to be producing at least enough energy to run our background loads um, and the um, charger. Um, even on a uh, pretty cloudy day. So it just over helps overcome the limitations of solar and, and makes a bit more use of uh, the energy we produce in evenings. But that really is only spring, summer and autumn. <coughs> Simply because winter is rubbish for solar, there's no point even trying to do anything. You get a few good days, but it, it's largely rubbish. So spring, summer and autumn, you know, get to March and uh, you can guarantee, you know, a more than enough energy to be able to charge the batteries fully and that really is the important point is the batteries do get charged from wherever they are sort of discharged to at the end of the evening to fully recharge the following day um, so you, there's no sort of pastoral state of charge cycling and you know th this this setup is basically designed to help overcome not only the limitations of solar to some extent but also the limitations of lead acid batteries which you know, let's face it, if, if you're using them with a charge control and you don't fully recharge each day, then they're going to die pretty quickly. But um, I'll show you the batteries very briefly. I have done another video on the, um, the batteries themselves um, and why I've sort of chosen these in particular. <coughs> these are a, um, an industrial traction battery, deep cycle gel. You can take them down to 20% um, remaining. Um, and then charge them all the way back up without any problems, um, I think 650 times. But because of the nature of um, the way they're being discharged each day, we'll probably use about 15% of them at max. Um, so we're going to get probably three, three and a half thousand cycles out of them without any problem. So it really, you know, it was a, a toss up do we go for lithium ion, do we go for uh, lead acid? And lithium ion just wouldn't have made sense for this type of setup. Um, okay, uh, the next part of the video you'll see is the internals of the unit, so I'll see you in a moment. Okay, I've removed the lid from the case so we can see inside to see all of the components used for the build. Um, everything used is Victron Energy, um, apart from sort of minor components, connectors, fuse box, that type of thing. Um, starting on the right hand side, we have an 8 amp 24 volt charger. Um, then in the middle there's the 300 watt continuous pure sine inverter and then on the left that's the 175 watt continuous pure sine inverter and down on the side here that's the Victron battery balancer 
So that keeps the um, two 12 volt batteries balanced while charging. Um, as far as cooling goes, there are three case fans, one at the front, two at the back, and one that just sits in front of the charger. Um, at the moment I've got it set to 24 degrees Celsius, so when it gets up to just past 24, um, it kicks in and uh, cools it really efficiently. This is the uh, Geo Solar Solar PV monitor that we use to monitor the AC current produced by our solar array. Um, at the moment it's uh, 25 past 10 in the morning in uh, the beginning of March and as you can see um, we've produced 2.76 kilowatt hours so far and it's sunny outside um, and we're currently producing 2180 watts um, it's fluctuating a little bit, there's a little bit of cloud cover coming around um, essentially the charger uses 260 watts during its bulk phase um, of the cycle and um, that basically carries on for about an hour and then it moves to um, about 70 watts for the absorption phase and uh, there it stays till 6 in the evening until the batteries are fully recharged so in terms of being able to reliably use solar um, generated electricity to charge the batteries almost exclusively during the, the spring, summer and autumn will this system work so yeah that just gives you a little bit of insight as to um, yeah, how effective it is.